Hi, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight on our Survivors Facebook Live. Tonight we have our Survivor Share. I'm Elizabeth Crapo, and this is Austin Crapo, my dear husband. And we are really excited tonight to have uh, a new friend acquaintance of ours, Jeffrey Mullis. Um, Hoosier. Yeah, follow who's your phone. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so those of you who have, are not as familiar with, with Survivors, we are a nonprofit that was started um, as um, a few of us on the board started to connect with other people that have experienced loss of a loved one. We started to feel like service was one of those things that we could do that started to help us in our healing journey. Um, of course, we were just discussing that grief is a lifelong journey and uh, but it can change certainly and we have found that service is one of those healing balms for us so as we connected with other others that have felt the same way um, those of you may have seen the nearings and the nielsen's jensen some others we have come together and created survivors so survivors we help encourage people to do service in memory of their loved one and by doing so, like I said, it, it helps us in that grief journey. So we do things like these Sunday night um, Facebook lives, hoping that we can help touch someone, uh, even if it's one uh, with so our stories and to be able to give hope, connection, and invite others to connect with us and survivors. So you can do that through our social media. And then if you have a loved one that you've experienced loss with, we surely, invite you to connect with us and we would love to do service in memory of your loved one as well. Um, so thanks again for joining us. Uh, we have Jeffrey here. I'll just briefly share uh, how I got in touch with Jeffrey and then um, I'm going to ask him to share uh, a few things. So uh, it was like back in March, we did a uh, one of those Survivors Inspires where we had um, Brenna Donnelly Ford come on and she was one of our speakers and as a news reporter she had a following and um, Jeffrey was able to see our interview and was drawn to us and reached out and so now we've um, developed this new friendship acquaintance and I was really inspired by what he's doing um, in memory of his loved one Tracy wow. his wife and so um, yeah Jeffrey would we can we ask you what what drew you to survivors? Uh, tell us a little bit about your story and and. Um, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. That's it. Okay. <laughs> well, what drew me is is like I I seen the thing with Brianna Donnelly, you know, and it was like it was it was instant, you know. It was like wow, that hit me, you know. Survivors, just your name alone, you know. So I kind of did a little bit of background look and everything, and you know, me and Brianna we contacted and you know connected, and then she got me in touch with you guys. So. Um, and, and the reason for all this is, as you know, uh, I lost my wife back in uh, May of 2020 uh, to COVID. Uh, she like, you know, she was one of the early ones. So, um, you know, and I, it's just it's it's been a journey of healing. And, you know, I, I, I like to share her story a lot. Uh, that, that helps out even more. So um, and that's that's why I'm here and uh, I'm looking forward to sharing it. So. Yeah, well, go ahead and um, tell us a little bit about Tracy and and your little family, and um, yeah, you can share her story. Uh, well, she um, she was she was I wouldn't say outgoing person, but you know she loved being outdoors. Uh, you know everything she did was you know she didn't like being inside at all. She loved being outside. But uh, back in uh, just to go back a minute, back in. Uh, 1999, I, I almost lost her as well to a, 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 a vasculitis disease called Wagner's granulomatosis. So she, she, uh, she was, her immune system was really weak. So, you know, but I mean, it, she didn't allow it to affect her, you know, she helped others, you know, just, just like I'm helping people now, but, you know, she was always thinking of somebody other than herself. So, um, you know, and then this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know, it's kind of like in honor of her, but, you know, because that's what she did. She she helped others. She was more concerned about them than her own health. So uh, I'm following her footsteps. 
So. Amazing. <clears throat> well, tell us, um, do you mind bringing us along that journey back in um, May of what happened with, with her? Yeah, uh, back in the uh, early part of April, she contracted uh, COVID-19, you know, because of me. I mean, I just, but, and she was in the hospital for almost seven weeks. Uh, she was on ventilator for six and ECMO, ECMO machine for six weeks as well. And um, when it came that time, you know, the doctors called me in. They did let us see her, you know, spend some time with her. And uh, when it came that time for me to, you know, have them pull the machines, uh, I was there holding her hand at that time. When before when she passed, uh, you know, God allowed her to pass through my soul, and that gave me relief and put me at peace with what had happened and allowed me to keep my strength through that whole process so but. so um tell us about her her motto about what her motto uh everything was i got this if something was wrong at the house you know and it was like you know jeff don't worry about it you know i got this you know you know I, I did a lot of out uh, construction work. I do construction work and I was out of town a lot. Something would go wrong, you know, and the, my daughters, you know, a little bit lower. They would say, Hey dad, you need to come home. You know, we got, you know, there's issues at home and my wife get on the phone. Jeff, don't worry about it. I got this. You know, <laughs> that was everything, everything, everything. She, you know, if there's an issue. She's got her sisters same way. You know, they, we'd have a cook thing, you know, and, her sister would be doing something. She'd push me out of the way. She'd say, don't worry about it. I got this. You know, everything, that was her motto. Everything was, I got this. But what was more important, those three words, was uh, when she went on the ventilator, before she went on, that uh, that she relayed to the nurse uh, those three words. Uh, she said, tell my husband, I got this. So wow. that that was the most important thing. So well, I love how the those words then became uh what you've just said. Um it kind of became your own now, you know, as yeah. you're trying to get through yeah. this journey and um and yep. then what you've been able to do with it. So since that uh -huh. time, obviously that the first year uh for any type of loss is usually uh you know, none that you ever want to go through. Yes. But at the yep. same time, it's uh, you've shared with me that's kind of inspired you to to take some steps forward. So what what have you done? Well, uh, what I did first off to early on was everybody says, you know, uh, keep your circle small. So what I did was, you know, I, I didn't unfriend, you know, not stop talking to people, but I knew that I needed some people, you know, just a small group of people to help me stay focused, keep me going and not allow me to slip down into any kind of depression type of thing. And it's not the same people all the time either. You know, those people change throughout time. So, you know, it, that was like my main thing, you know, like I got to stay focused, you know, stuff like that. So I knew that those people were needed in my life. And, um, you know, we just, you know, I, I stayed with that. And then I also figured that, you know, you got to keep moving forward. So I developed, I started a hobby, you know, you know, you, you got to keep thinking, you know, everything's got to keep going forward. So uh, I started thinking, you know, what's going to keep my mind off stuff, you know, so I started doing hop, different hobbies, you know, I started back in golf again, you know, and that started going and then now I'm scuba diving, you know, so that, um, those things alone really help, you know, if you, if you can focus on something other than the loss, you know, if you can do that, that is a real major step to moving forward, you know, because if you keep thinking about that loss, it'll eat at you. And, and that's something you cannot do. So. But. Yeah. We, you know, similar to, similar to what you've been saying, you know, we kind of immersed ourselves in, in service and I remember our era's first uh, birthday, you know, we, we were kind of faced with that. It was only a few yeah. months after she'd passed and, you know, we kind of 
faced with this situation like do we do we sit around and you know lay out a cake that you know or yeah. there's an empty seat in front of it and and we just come yep. and, and, and sad or do we celebrate her life through service and yep. to, to get out yep. and do that you know, tell, tell us a little bit more about um how i got i mean i love that phrase by the way and i love how you described it and and if i yep. and if i could be so bold as to say i wonder if maybe your wife meant more than i got this and not necessarily i'm going to beat this covid thing but i got this is that i've got you and the kids and yeah you know mm -hmm. yeah so, I, I, I i believe i believe you you're kind of hitting it you, you really are i mean it wasn't just afraid it wasn't it was you know she was letting me know you know she lets me know i've got this you know you don't have to worry about it you know she knows where she was going so and that and that's what i felt you know she knew and as far as like you were saying you know yeah, we, we celebrate my wife. You know, we don't mourn her, we celebrate her because her life was worth something, you know, and that's what you got to look at. You know, their life is no, they're, they're not physically here anymore, but their life meant something when it was here, when they was here. So you have to celebrate that. You can't mourn it. You have to celebrate it. And uh, when, like I said, it all goes back to when she passed through me, when she, you know, her soul passed through me, it allowed me to realize that, you know, it was like, she gave me this great feeling, you know, and, and it was like, wow. So, um, and, and, and it just, you know, it's been a journey of healing, but along the way, you know, it's like, man, you know, she's, I still remember that moment and, you know, it's like, you know, we got to celebrate, you know, it's, 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 you don't, you don't mourn. So. Absolutely. It's beautiful. I, uh, you know, my, my best friend is Samoan, he's Polynesian and, and then their yeah. culture, where he comes from in Samoa, they they would actually bury their uh, you know when a family member passed, you'd bury them in the in the front yard. And so, uh -huh. your family was always there close to you. And yeah. Part of the symbolism of that is you know something he shared with our family is is that very thing you know that, that you celebrate you know so uh -huh. on her, we call it her angel anniversary the day that she died. We we have a celebration of life. You know we tell stories. We. Yep think about her we watch videos we look at pictures uh -huh. yep even though yep. it was a short little life it, it was yep it was still life it was she was here so it was, it was beautiful uh, so she served her journey she served her journey on earth absolutely so, and, but yeah we we kind of do the same thing we we go out to the gravesite and not just one, not just one time a year her birthday her you know her, the day she passed you know we do all of that you know we do sell you know balloon releases and just all kinds of stuff, you know, it just doesn't mean, you know, she was special, you know, she's special to us. Yeah. So I, I like what you were saying earlier too, when we were chatting about how everybody does it differently and, uh -huh. and how um, that has been one of the things that has uh, really been eye-opening for me is the various ways that people do it. But you know, as we have young other children besides our daughter that we lost, and as you have your daughters, and as you were indicating, uh -huh. uh, it's being able to just allow people to do their grief, however yeah. they're trying to get it through, yeah. get yeah. through the experience, but uh -huh. then you support them. And and that's what all of this is, I feel like, is, is we're just here to support each other through however we, we do it. And um, and, you know, I, I acknowledge that some um, do it, obviously, everybody does it, do it different than me. You know, even my children, learning yep. how, seeing how they do it yep. in their age, yeah. along with their personality, how, uh -huh. you know, just to let them know that that's okay. And then I got yep. you, you know, I'm going to help work yeah. and get together. Yep. And, yep. and yep. Um, you know, so anyway, her her motto really is an inspiration for all of us is I got this, you know, uh -huh. and yeah. in that, yep. it's okay if I have a really, really bad day or yeah. a bad few days, yep. but uh -huh. we've got each other, you yep. know, we're going to help each other get through this. And I tell people, you know, cause you know, it's a phrase, you know, and it's used multiple times, but I say, you know, those three words have many different meanings, you know I mean? It, it, it's different for me than it is for you and for somebody else, but they, you know, they mean a lot, not yeah. just the way that I feel they mean, but for somebody else. So, 
you know, it's just three words that just mean a lot. So, Jeff, tell, tell you know, tell us a little bit more about your foundation, about your organization. Um, we know, we now kind of know the story of where the phrase comes from, but tell, tell us what you what you guys do for families. Well, can I uh, can I go back just a little bit and tell you about really how it came about? Yeah. Uh, a- after she had after she had passed, um, of course, you know I could you know I was able to afford you know pretty much all the stuff that needed to be done. But when she had passed for like a year, it was working on me. Like you know, God has put a path in front of me. I just couldn't figure out what it was. But it was not at me but it was it was there and it was in my mind it was like man you know there's something going on i just can't figure out what it is well i was speaking with my cousin carrie uh, she's a, a youth pastor and i was telling her i said carrie I said you know god has put something in front of me i just don't know what it is so she said jeff she said he won't reveal it in time and i you know i said okay you know well it's still you know it's still bothering me because i couldn't figure out what it was well, almost, it was like to a year, my wife would went in April. Well, her brother had con- contracted uh, COVID and he had passed away like within a year after my wife with COVID. But within that time, I was working with her family, you know, my cousin, you know, like them, you know, helping them, you know, telling them everything, you know, what to expect, you know, and what they need to ask the doctor and everything. And then when he had passed, it hit me. It was like, he let me know, boom, right there. You know, this is what you need to do. You know, you need to help families, not just with COVID, but, you know, people that experience that unexpected death. So, um, you know, and it just, it just, things just start steamrolling, you know, putting things together. So that, I mean, that's kind of like how it basically started. But um, so what we do is, of course, you know, we try and help families that experience experience unexpected deaths not just COVID it's uh, you know a motorcycle accident or whatever you know because if you're not prepared for that you know that's a big financial burden yeah. and so we want to try and help you know we're still working on our 501c3 but when we get all of it get everything organized you know we want to help lessen that burden because you're grieving you know those families are grieving they don't think clearly you know i learned that lesson the hard way and uh so and then we also offer like a thing called healing sessions you know you know just to let people know that you know like you said it's okay to grieve you know some people don't realize that some people want to hold it in and they don't want to cry but you have to cry you have to get it out you know because if not you've got a choice you can grieve and get out or you can go down a path of you know that would lead you to depression if you don't you know because if you don't get it out it's it, it'll eat, eat you away so that's you know that's the main thing you know we're here to let people know you're it's okay to cry <laughs> you know i cry mm-hmm. every day so you know it doesn't really matter you know so because this is like you said it's a lifelong journey that's so cool. i love that beautiful yeah i i just Recalling from our own experience, you know, I remember just sitting there in the funeral home and just still in uh, shock, you know, still in, yep. in utter shock. Like, what am I doing here? I, uh-huh. I, should, I shouldn't be here. I shouldn't be planning my daughter's funeral. Like, this doesn't make any sense. Yep. And you're not thinking, you know, and, and they're asking about details about, you yep. know, uh, you know, what, what kind of sepulcher, what kind of cop. And it's just like, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. I don't want to, you yep. know, it's, as, a, as a parent. As a person going through it, like you almost don't even want to be there, but you know it's important. But you're like you don't yep. want to make decisions, and so it's- yeah, because I mean, you know, it's it's the shock, and that's that's the thing. You know, it's, people's in shock at that point, you know, and they don't realize it, but they are. You know, mm-hmm. and that's what we want to do is help those people. You know, just you know, because I mean, it, it's just we're all in it together. You know, that's another model. I use. We're all in this together. So you know, and you guys as well. You know, we're all in it. So, you know, you guys have lost somebody. I've lost somebody. Everybody's going to lose somebody sooner or later. You know, so if we're not here to help each other, then why are we even here? So, you know. Amen. Absolutely. That's why we do what we do is uh, to connect and 
-hmm. and support you, whatever it looks like. And yeah. well, and then we run into people such as yourself that yes, you're in that journey, but then it's inspiring mm -hmm. to see that there's different ways to, to do it. And we're all getting yeah. called, you feel like by God in different ways. Yeah. Some people, yeah. you know, want to join organizations to help research or prevention uh -huh. or whatever, yeah. you know, whatever the lost loved one has gone through. But Austin and I have talked about how we feel um, that this is our, our path of it for us. It doesn't matter how you've lost your loved one. It yeah. sucks. <laughs> yeah yeah and, yeah um, and we just know that if we can offer a connection like uh -huh. you know, the, those healing sessions i love that um yeah that we can all do those things together and uh and it's not it just takes off that sting to know that i'm not alone, I'm not uh, alone. and i think sometimes yeah you know if i can be so bold and i think sometimes god puts us uh, allows us to go through some of these trials so that we can be there for other people that will yep. need someone down the road. I think, I think you hit on it, you know, like why, why else are we here? If not, yep. we make these organic connections in our lives and we form these relationships. We spend years uh -huh. in these, these family units, you know, if we're not meant to, to be there for each other, then why, yeah. you know, why God put us through this, all of this to yeah. connect and, and be uh -huh. a part. I think you, hit it you know it's about the community of of life and community of family and, 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 the tapestry. and, and, and i and i go through and i t tell people you know you, you hear god only god only puts in front of you what he knows that you can handle mm -hmm. well i kind of back that out because i mean i say god puts in puts in front of you what he knows you can't handle because he he's asking you he's telling you He's asking you to ask him for help. You know, that, that is what, that's what it is. You know, you know, that's what he puts in front of you. He says, Hey, let me help you, you know, but you've got to ask for that help. Yeah. So. yeah. And, and to add to that, that he puts in front of you things that he, he knows you can handle with the help of yeah. others. If you yeah. will yeah. allow them, including, including him. And that's uh -huh. a that's a beautiful spin off of that. Yeah. I, I love that. You know, I, yeah. I uh, well, I, I want to know, uh, or I'm, I'm sure some of our viewers and people that follow us would love to know if they want to get involved in, in uh, your, your organization. I got this. I got this. Like, what what are some things that they, I mean, how can they get in contact with you? Obviously, all, all they have, they can go to our website, which is igotthis.care, not com, but dot care. And it'll go through there and there's a contact page on there. And all they can do is send me some information and we can get contact back with them. So awesome. But, uh, so um, when they do contact you, what kind of things can they, you know, you talked about the, the healing sessions, what might that look like for them? And then also in, the healing sessions, like what, what are you uh, offering? Well, right now, right now, I we're still kind of like real young, you know, in the thing. So uh what I've done is I've worked, I've talked to families one-on-one -on -one right now, you know, that I've, that, that I've helped, you know, so right now it's kind of like one-on-one, -on -one, but we are trying to grow. We're trying to get, you know, the 501c3 status going and hopefully I'm at the final stages of that. But, uh, you know, and then I've got, I've got companies that are just biting at the bits to really financially help us, you know, you know, to sponsor us and stuff like that. But without that exempt status, you know, it makes it tough. But yeah, you know, the small things, you know, like if I know that we got people that's willing to help us, you know, that's been through what we've been through, you know, and they're like, hey, you know, I'm interested in helping, you know, we'll jump in line because, you know, we'll be looking for some help. Because, <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like yeah. I said, it's it's all uh, we're all in this together and, you know, we're just, you know, it's it's a lifelong journey. And that's why I just keep pushing, you know, we're on a lifelong journey of healing. I don't think healing's ever finished. So yeah. when you lose somebody, it's never done. That's so. right. I had a quick question too about I got this your foundation. Um, I also maybe a little bit more about um, how you help people with those costs after they pass away. What does that kind of look like? Well, Obviously, I understand it's new, but what would you like? Yeah, yeah. Well, what we do is like okay, if they need like on the help on the funeral costs, you know, if if 
if we have the funds, we'll help them as much as that we can help them. Or let's say, let's say that they have that covered with insurance or, you know, funeral insurance and all that. If they have that covered, well, why not help them with their bills for, you know, a little while, you know, because you're not thinking clearly, you know, trust me, you're not thinking clearly, you know, those bills team seem to, you know, take, take back seat to what you're doing and well, you kind of forget about them, but those are, they still don't stop coming. <laughs> especially, yeah, especially if your wife is the one who usually manages that, I think I'd be. Yep. Like, and that's what happened to me pretty bad. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. Like, so, wait a minute, who we bank with? Oh, dear. Yeah. Or, <laughs> or like yeah. you're watching TV and the TV goes off. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I got to pay that. <laughs> I got to pay that. <laughs> so, that's awesome. I love that. Yeah. Well, well, we're excited to um, continue to partnership because that's uh -huh. kind of what survivors does as well yep. is and uh -huh. we're also fairly new um fairly within new. With the last couple of years um but we're in this place now where we want to help support those that are honoring their loved one through service yeah. uh, uh -huh. which is how we honor our loved ones <laughs> yeah um but we're and that's all what we should do yeah yeah and that's what we should do we should mourn them because you mourn them then it just it, it makes it hard on the person, you know, but it's, you shouldn't mourn somebody that's, that's in heaven. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm just going to say it, you know, but they're in the glory. So they're no longer pain or, you know, they're, you know, they're, they're live they're, they're in their, you know, afterlife. So, yeah. uh, that's kind so of yeah, it's, you know, we're, we're the ones mm -hmm. down here suffering. <laughs> we're yeah. the ones down here suffering. So, and yeah. we shouldn't, we should, we should, we should celebrate their life. Yeah. You know, and it, and when I when I like I said when I was looking at your guys' stuff, survivor, I was like, man, that just clicked. You know, you guys just clicked on me, and it was like, you know, it was like something that hit. So I don't know, you know, just another thing. You know, it's like, you know, I'd like to really get in contact with them and maybe work with them. So yeah, I'm yeah. um, hopefully things work out that way. So, they will. Absolutely. We'll, we'll make it. We'll have to. Uh, so. We'll have to get together. You know. You're out of town. We're out of town. We're all vacation. We'll get back together yeah, and yeah. You know, so, have to sit down with you and, and, and kind of talk about how we can make that uh, happen for sure. Because yeah, uh, you know, you'll yeah. you'll you'll experience this as as your uh, nonprofit grows. You know, one of the things that uh -huh. one of the parts to it is finding you know those like minded individuals and those that are yeah. kindred spirits that want to help and finding ways to, uh -huh. to get yeah. them involved in what you're trying to do. So we would absolutely. You know, love, and and that's one of the big reasons why we wanted to share your story with everyone. Because you know, we we have a lot of people that we talk to and connect with, uh -huh. but not everybody is to a point in their grief where they've turned to service. And so we love having our friends on that uh, that have a story, and that's yeah. really the message we're trying to share with people. Is we want people to see examples of those who have who have experienced that grief and now have turned to a life of service in yeah. a way to, you know, to say, hey, this is, look at what the, the, the joy and the purpose that your life can have uh -huh. going forward. And so yep. we love that we were able to have you on tonight and, yeah. and have you share that story and show that awesome yep. example of, you know, losing your best friend, losing your companion, yep. losing yep. You know, your better half. Let's just be honest. Yeah. There. Yeah. Tell me about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. You know, I, I can't, I can't imagine but but what an inspiration you are, Jeff, to not just to, you know, husbands around the world, you know, those, especially those that are mm -hmm. grieving may have also lost a spouse, um, you know, uh -huh. there's inspiration to all of us in your, in your, uh, you know, because I think you would agree, you know, we really keep our daughter alive. Uh, this is the way we do it is yeah. Through, living, yeah. through living for her and living these actions of service or, yep. or living, breathing thing. You know, and, mm -hmm. and she's a big part of that, and so I, it's, I it's 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 part of keeping their memory alive. You know, I mean, you know, that's 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 the thing. You know, you you want to keep their memory alive, even though they're not here. You know, it's it's important to do that, especially if you love them as much as you love them. You know, I mean, you know, you gotta, you know, you want to keep their memory alive. Yeah. So don't put them in the back. You know, so keep keep. Them. That's right. And I, so. I've often felt like, you know, that desire within me to still show her that love, to still 
nurture mm -hmm. her in some way. Yeah. Uh, I cannot do that physically any, anymore. Nope. So maybe wherever she's at, knowing that this is how I'm showing her that I love her can put a smile mm -hmm. on her face. Then yeah. I've, um, I, that's how I can continue to show my love. Uh, so. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so thank you for being on tonight. I appreciate and it. Your story. And um, we're excited to continue to um, develop and our relationship and, and learn more about how I got this and if, you know, how we can help serve each other. And, um, but anyway, thank you to all our survivors watching and uh, please reach out, please connect. We would um, love to connect with you and your stories. And um, uh, if you have questions for, for Jeff, like you said, you can go to his website that he mentioned. Um, he, I got this dot care, dot, right? Yep. Yep. Care. Care. Okay. Uh -huh. Or you can reach out to us here at Survivors and we can put you in touch with Jeff if Absolutely. you uh -huh. want to learn more about him, learn more about his story, or learn about how you can uh, uh, donate or help um, grow uh, his nonprofit. So, again, thank you, Jeff, so much. Yep. Um, again, fellow Hoosier, we appreciate you being yep. here. That's Look right. Forward to, him to, <laughs> to know you more. So. So. All right. Well, good evening, everybody, and we will see you next time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.